Hey guys, my name is Kev and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Lutris. Lutris is a conversion tool that um, is used in combination with Wine on Linux to convert Windows games into, or translate Windows games to work on Linux. So we're gonna use that and we're gonna use it in conjunction with a couple of new launchers um, that don't have native Linux support, namely the Amazon Games Launcher, for those of you that get your free Amazon Prime games, um, the Epic Game Store, and GOG.com. What I really like about this tool is it seems to do a really good job of converting these guys and translating them, so that way they work um, fine on the Steam Deck. And instead of having to go through um, Steam ROM Manager, it actually puts an icon in Steam for you directly, so you don't have to go through that process either. So first things we're gonna do, we're gonna, you're gonna go and you're gonna get it from the Discover Store. So you'll open up the Discover Store, and when you open up the Discover Store, you can, uh, I would recommend just searching for it under the name Lutris. And there's mul multiple ways to get it. This is one way to get it, um, and it's one T in Lutris, my, key, my keyboard double typed on me. There we go. And then from there, you'll just open it, uh, open it up, but I already have it open up down here, but I did wanna show you it is in the Discover Store. Or you can also go onto their website and you can download the flat pack from there as well. Once you're in there, this is kind of the setup here. This is a fresh um, go of, Linux, of um, Lutris. You're gonna go into the, uh, the little hamburger here, um, the little vertical line, the little three horizontal lines. And then you're gonna go into preferences. And the reason you're gonna go into preferences is you want to go down to sources. By default, um, this guy only really has um, one or two launchers here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna let it allow, um, turn on for GOG.com, Humble Bundle, Epic Games, Amazon Prime Gaming, Ubisoft Connect, and Origin. You can also um, tell it to um, convert your Steam games, but that's not gonna be necessary on the deck, but it is an option you have. And then once you do that, the hardest part's actually already done. You'll go ahead and then go, go over to whichever application you're using. I'll use Origin as an example here. And it'll tell you that it requires a launcher and that's fine. And then you'll hit install. It'll offer you a desktop shortcut, a Steam shortcut, as well as the application menu shortcut. You can put whatever one there you like and just hit install. It will tell you that Wine is not installed on your system. Having Wine installed guarantees that the builds, and that's fine. Go ahead and do not show this message again because it's going to install Wine as well. All right, and the Origin install didn't work out, so I'm going to show you guys how to just use it with another launcher. Once you go ahead and you um, have, it in, have it installed, it'll give you an option to sign into the account. Now, I'm obviously signed into my accounts, so you'll click on the little human here. And then it'll prompt you to sign in with your credentials using Humble Bundle as an example. I'm not going to log into my Humble. Um, and you'll just put your credentials in there. So once you already have, so once you already signed into the account of your choice, I'm going to use Amazon Prime here in this example. You're going to click on the um, name of the launcher here. It'll take you to your list of your games. You'll click on the game you want. You'll hit install. And then it's going to give you all of your normal installation options. Now, what's cool about this one is once you have those normal installation options, like you see here, it asks you, hey, where we're gonna install it, I'm just gonna let it install it to the, to the default location. Make sure you check Create Steam Shortcut. And you have to do this for every game. But what this will do is it'll create a shortcut in Steam, so that way you don't have to um, worry about using Steam ROM Manager. It does it automatically. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit Install. We'll let it continue to install what it needs to. And when it's done, it'll, it'll show in this games tab and you'll be able to see it there and that'll show all the games that are installed. We're just using APAD as an example so you guys can see how to actually install a game. Now, one thing that I don't like about this um, guy and I haven't figured out a workaround for it yet is it doesn't create a Steam category. So these guys do install as non-Steam games. And then you just have to go in and just find the um, installation. So it's not, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but it's one of those niceties that I got used to a Steam ROM manager that Lutris doesn't do. At least I haven't found a way to do it in Lutris. If you guys saw a way to do it, let me know in the comments below because I may have missed it. 
All right, and now we've gone ahead and finished the install. The install is complete for it out. So we will go ahead and click close. And then we are going to go over to games. And we will see that now Ape Out is installed in our games there. And in order to play it, we're going to have to go back over to game mode. And I'll show you guys how to get the game started on your deck. And we are now back in gaming mode on the Steam Deck. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how to actually find Ape Out. As I mentioned before, when you go into game mode, you're going to want to click on library. And generally you want to go into your collect. You, I would generally have you guys go into collections, but as you see here, Lutris doesn't make a collection here for the game. So you actually have to go into your non steam games and then you see it right there. It's ape out. It's installed. And we just hit play. And it's going to take a second. There you go. You see wines doing its thing. It's going to uh, optimize the game to run on Windows. We'll give it a second to do its thing. And then it'll take you actually to the load screen. And here we are now. We are at the load screen for Ape Out. So you see here we have all our options here. So this is a full screen, your volume, shake, everything that you expect. I'll turn on the laptop mode because Let's be honest, the Steam Deck is kind of just um, this OP laptop thing. You can change your resolution, but you can't go to native. So you have to settle for 720p. That's probably the best you're going to get on this guy. I'll hit apply. And we'll hit play. Now, I've never played Ape Out. So I don't know how this game um, is supposed to operate, like the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. It's just something I happen to get for free on um, Amazon Prime Games. So we're going to play and it's by Devolver Digital. I love that developer. I just haven't played this game yet. Something cool about this method too is it does work with Epic. It does work with um, Origin and oh, actually, I know it's supposed to work with Origin. Whether it doesn't have Origin. Yeah, this is kind of cool. So, I'm an eight. I heard losing my stuff, losing my shit, we're pushing everybody. You will not hit me with the pressure. It's actually a really simple game to play, it looks like. As I just try to escape. Oh, I got shot! I almost made it to the end. I wonder if I have a health meter. I don't see a health meter there. Alright. You big old ape. And I think we're just trying to escape to the end of the level. I don't know if there's actually, um... Maybe any other objective, like if I have to kill everybody. But, this is fun, it runs! Get wrecked. Oh! Headshot. I almost made it to the end too. I was almost there. Man, this game's this game actually kind of awesome. But yeah, so that's how you get the Amazon Prime games to work. Um, like I said, there's other couple launchers that will work with this too. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Of course, if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time. Share with a friend, and thanks for watching.